All right guys, I wanna welcome you back to another TBR7 video. And today we're gonna to be doing our initial review of the performance camshaft that I installed in this bike. Um, we're starting off here at a lake because I was actually just fishing. Uh, caught a couple uh, fish, I caught two white perch and one nice little pickerel. I saw I saw a nice pickerel, but I couldn't seem to get his, his interest. But uh, I also wanted to start recording here after I got done fishing because the way that I came was quite treacherous. And on my way back, just in case I wreck, I want to get on video. So let's see if we can make it back over to the roadway without wrecking. And the first decision we have to make is how and where to turn around. Up here is looking like a pretty solid spot. Just don't want to go into the lake. Here we go. Alright guys, so I, I mainly wanted to make this video to give you my initial impressions of the cam. Um, although I'm not perfectly tuned with the carb, I'm pretty close. I'm actually on the lean side a little. Uh, here's a picture of the spark plug and what it looks like after I tuned it and rode it for about 350 miles. So I mean you can see the, the electrode's still pretty white. Um, and I've got this little, here I'll show you. I got this little handy dandy uh, temperature gauge. I monitor my head temps just to see how the bikes are running. Don't want to overheat it ever. But uh, yeah, mainly we stay in about the 300 degree range uh, when under load on highway speeds. Um, lower speeds, like about 40 miles an hour. Uh, we'll stay around the 260, 270 degree area which is perfect I think in my opinion now before I did uh, I did temperature checks with a temp gun and it would stay around the 230 range when I would pull over and now about when I pull over it's reading that I'm about the 250 260 range so not too far from the the jetting that I had when I dynoed the bike so we're pretty close but I still think it's a little lean um, and another thing is a uh, to think about is when we did the cam, we installed um, the thinner head gasket. So that's also gonna bump our compression a little bit. It's a, about equivalent to shaving the head about 0.25 or 0 0.025 inches um, to bump the compression even more. But uh, so yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna expect a rise in heat and temperatures with rising compression, that's just natural. So here is the section that I'm really sketched out about is going through this is all big rocks and really steep and then getting out of here is actually really tough. Uh, fingers crossed, I don't uh, wreck. I'm still not the best on two wheels. Always been a quad man. Let's see, what's the best way here? Oh, oh boy. Yeah, this is tough. And this is with a 1742 sprocket combo. This is not pleasant. Shit, I'm spinning. All right, so here we're gonna have to get some kind of speed, but that rock right there is kind of worrying me. I wonder if I can scoot my way to the right. Voy a la playa había subido la marea. Y tú. Oh, we almost go down. <laughs> oh well, it's because we have long gearing. Happens. Up here is a little sketch leaving too. Because we got this little dip here. Oh, thank God. 
and we're out, thank God. <laughs> All right, so now I can show you how the bike actually reacts um, on the road with the cam. And my initial review is I love it. It's helped the bike a lot. I think a uh, very similar in power increase to the ported head. I do think we have a little more to go with jetting to get squeeze a little more power. And the reason I say that is I was at a 175 main jet. That was some nice bikes. And I, well, I actually, when I had the cam in, I was running a 170, a 170 main jet. That's just how it was before the cam, and that was, you know, the dyno and all that. But uh, it ran fine and it revved out, but the problem was it revved out slow, which is a sign of, of a lean condition. And I always take the spark plug and it's super white, uh, not a lot of soot. So I went from a 38 pilot and a 170 main to a 39 pilot. And right now I'm at a 185 main, so I bumped it up about 10. I still think uh, it could probably use like a 190. Uh, I, I don't have a 190, 185 is the biggest jet that I have, but it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. Uh, performance wise, I have felt a power increase uh, 4,000 RPMs and above. Now that doesn't mean to say that I haven't, that I've lost power down low because with these camshafts and the extra duration, um, it will say that you lose power down low and pick it up up top. I don't think that's really the case with this. Um, I only really noticed power increases 4,000 RPM and above. Nothing lost really down low, which I'm very happy about because I, I didn't want to lose the low end grunt of this bike. Because it does have a good little bit of low end grunt to it. And let's just see. Yeah. Also, I want to show you guys this. This is crazy because even before the camshaft, you know, ported head and all and all the all the other mods, I would not be able to uh, wheelie or bring the front end up that high in first gear. Like it would struggle and I would you'd have to really throw your weight. But in first gear now. It pops right up and it's snappy it really likes it now I'm not good at riding wheelies <laughs> like I said this is my first bike but a little twist of the throttle and just a little bit of weight transfer that front end comes right up and actually um, I don't want to present final numbers to you guys until I tune the bike perfectly uh, and have everything dialed in and that's also because I'm going to be making a carburetor change. Yeah, I spent the, the $90 on the PE30, the Nibby. Well, I went ahead and spent another $90 on another Nibby, but this time it's a PWK. And I went with that because one, uh, the throttle response on the PE, and I also think with the cam having the extra duration, we're losing a little bit of that draw. So. The PE, I mean the PWK, will have better throttle response overall. And it won't necessarily bring me more power because it's still a 30 millimeter. But it should help us with the throttle response. And I'll do a zero to 60. I'm gonna go back up here because this is a nice flat stretch of road. I'm gonna do a zero to 60 for you guys um, to see how the camshaft is done compared to the ported head and all the other mods. So, a couple numbers off the top of my head. Zero to 60 on this bike stock. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was around 19 seconds. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty damn slow. It was either 18 or 19 seconds. And then with just the exhaust, the E3 spark plug, what else? The exhaust and the E3 spark plug, oh, and a rejet on the stock carburetor. Uh, just to read on the stock carburetor, I think we brought it down to 17 and a half or 17.4 seconds. Um, not too bad, not too bad. And then, let's see, what was the ported head result? I want to say that the ported head result was like 12.7 seconds. Oh, I stalled it. I want to say it was about 12.7 seconds. Uh, Might have been 15, I'm not sure. Um, 
you'll see it on the screen here because I'll check one of my the previous video on it. But let's get a good idea of what this is. Again, this is not final because also the uh, I noticed I've done this test before off camera, but I can't just brap on the throttle right away because it'll it'll go lean and it'll slowly pick up into the rich range. Um, so it's not the fastest. So the throttle response, like I said, is not great, and that's why I want to make the switch to the PWK. But regardless, it does feel a lot faster. Like I most most definitely will say it does feel faster. It's got a little more pep in her step, and it revs out to probably 8,500. Yeah, on a good day, on a light day. But today it's a little warmer, so it's going to run a little richer which is good, but even though the bike's still a little lean, and I have a backpack full of fishing gear, about 25 pounds. So, I'm just gonna do a zero to 60 for you guys here. And let's see how she does. All right. Ready? So that was a little bad, I'm not gonna lie. I'll do two more so we can average the three together. Um, I'm so used to just twisting the throttle all the way, but I can't, I, I gotta remember that I can't do that on this bike with the, with the PE, no accelerator pump. All right, so this way is a little uphill, so if we score better on this, then we know the last time was really bad. And then we'll do one more coming downhill. Average them all together, we'll see what it is. I think mean, this isn't much of an uphill. I don't know what it looks like on camera yet. I know the camera can be deceiving. Um, but I'm gonna try to get a better start and hopefully not uh, bog it out, like lean it out. So here we go. Ah, all right, never mind. I bogged it out. And that's what happens when you switch the throttle too fast. It doesn't get the fuel because the, the draw is not there. All right, so we're back up the other way because we did a terrible, terrible start back there. Bogged it out, twisted it way too fast. It's very hard to be consistent with it just because the draw is no longer as strong. I just need to get one good run in for you guys to prove to you that it's faster than before just the, the ported head and everything. Alright, so that was probably our best run. <laughs> Again, I'm not cranking on the throttle. I have to slowly ease into it. Don't take these numbers as completely final because I have to retune it. I'm going to put the other carb on. And then we'll actually get the real results. That's just a teaser of how it is. But overall, the cam, I think, was totally worth it. Now, it was a lot of work installing, as you probably saw in the other video. Um, it's a lot of work to install, but it, I think it's worth it, because it's really not all that expensive. The only thing you're really doing is waiting on shipping, and uh, you gain power pretty much almost every aspect of the RPM. Like, it, th it thumps pretty good for 230. Like, if I had to guess what that 0 to 60 is, I would probably guess it was around 11 seconds. And I don't remember if just the ported head was like 12 seconds or 14 or 15. It was probably somewhere in that range, but I feel like that was around the 11 second mark, which I think is great for this little bike. All I need to do. And uh, as far as anything else goes, regular driving. Oh, Grom. But uh, as far as regular driving goes, it makes it a lot easier. It gets up hills a lot easier, let me tell you that. Fifth gear, no problem. So would I recommend the cam as an upgrade? 100%. 
Um, I might even recommend it to do over the ported head because it's way cheaper. Uh, the ported head's pretty expensive to do unless you do it yourself. Um, but I was scared. I didn't want to mess my <laughs> my head up and have to buy a new one. But with that, guys, this is a short little video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, no final numbers here. This is just my initial review of the camshaft and how it feels. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.